In our previous video, we have implemented authentication using Microsoft Identity. We have been able to create users and allocate roles for our application. In this video, we will implement authorization. But first, we will have to make some adjustment in our login page. You have seen that by default, Microsoft Identity store email addresses in username. But in customization part, we have changed that default to store username and email address separately. So in order to log in using username instead of email ID, we will make some changes in our login page. So let's make those changes. Open the login code behind file located in area identity accounts. Go to input model and let's rename email property to username as we are going to use username for login and remove email address attribute as we do not want it to validate as email address. Then go to our post handler which is called when user press login link after providing the credentials. Change it to input.username. Then go to login.cshtml file and here also we will change the references to username from email address. It's done. Let's try to log in now and uh, see if we are able to log in using username. Seems I forgot to add display annotation for username. We will do it shortly after testing login feature. Let me try to log in for James. Great, it's successfully logged in using username now. Let's add display attribute to show username label properly. display name equals user space name so all done so our authentication part has been completed now we will implement authorization part so that users should be able to access menus and pages on the base of their roles you can see at present even if we are not logged in we are able to access masters so let's first update our menu so that only admin and executive roles should be able to see these menus. Go to our layout page. We'll make the changes in layout view so that menus are displayed to user as per their roles. On the top of master menu, let's add if statement at the rate if user dot is in role admin or user dot is in role executive close the bracket at the end of this menu so now master menu will appear only to the logged in user who have admin or executive roles let's log in using tom who have executive role perfect tom can see master menu let me log in using james id who have admin role Great, both are working fine. And if we are not logged in, master menu is not appearing. But there is a problem in our application and hackers can easily get the access to the masters if they know the path of these masters. Let's copy this URL and log out from application. See, now we are not logged in, but if we paste the URL of make master, we can get the access to this master easily. So let's fix this by adding authorized attribute on our controllers. Authorize, press control dot to add the reference of authorization roles equal here we can add multiple roles separated by comma as we want to give access to these masters to admin and executive both so let's add both here do the same for model controller as well
let's run the application and see what happen if we try to access these masters without login great system is redirecting to us login page if we try to access these masters without login if you remember as per requirement only admin should be able to create users but you can see at present anyone can register on site so let's remove this register link from here and add it to menu go to underscore login partial page available in shared folder and uh, let's remove this register link from here cut this and go to our layout page and paste it in master menu let's give it a caption add user instead of register because that make more sense remove li tag and update the style sheet to match with other menus item as we need to display this only to admin user let's add if statement if user dot is in role admin run the application and you can see register link is now no longer there let me log in with tom id who have executive role you can see he is not getting add user in menu and let's log in now using james id and great add user link is available to him but register link is accessible if someone knows the complete url so in razor page we have to add authorized attribute on the top of page model class so go to in our page model class of register page remove anonymous and add authorized attribute roles equal admin that's it run the application and try to put register page url without logged in and you are redirected to the login page there is one more fix we need in this application is that if we create a new user it automatically be logged in let's take a look why it is happening go to code behind file of register page scroll down to the post method and go at the end of this method so let's comment this line and use redirect to action and call index method to redirect our user to index page so let's log in with using james id and create a new user you can see we are not logged in with newly created user there is one more fix we have to do in this application as you have seen that we have used hard coded value of roles in all the classes so using hard coded value in classes directly for roles is not good because it may happen in future that we may decide to call executive a sales person in future in that case we need to replace that value in all the places in our application in a small application this is not a problem 
but in big application where we do have hundred of pages it would become cumbersome to make that change so for the solution to this problem uh, we should create helper classes where we should define these roles as constant and we should use those constant instead of directly using the hard coded value in applicable classes so let's add a new folder and name it helpers and add the roles class to define these constants and define these two constant for admin and executive so now we can use these two constants and replace the hard coded value in various places let me change it at one place go to our layout page and add the helper namespace on the top of this page and here in if statement let's use roles dot admin and roles dot executive to replace the hard coded value and here in if statement uh, let's use roles dot admin so we have completed authorization part i am not creating tutorial for managing users and leaving it to you to create various pages for listing editing and deleting a user we already have learned that how to do that in MVC as we have created model and make masters. So you are now aware of identity table. So concept is same. You can do that easily. I will complete that code and update the git repository later. I will inform you once I will get that released. Till now you have learned various parts of development in this tutorial and have complete knowledge of MVC part to complete the remaining application. So before completing the remaining part of this application, I am going to explain deployment part in our next videos so that you should have understanding of complete cycle of development. We will learn to deploy our application on Azure and IIS in our coming videos. Stay tuned and also subscribe our channel by pressing the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the alert as soon as we upload any new video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video.